So here's the deal. Let's start over here. Set it down right on the line, right? All right, at that point, let's, let's get it pinned down. All right, we're down. Yo. <laughs> we're getting the red, the red flash of death. Okay, which means the battery has to be charged or we're out of gas. Here's the deal. I deal with this job after job after job. When it comes to these gas actuated tools, they require a battery and gas cylinder. You never know what's gonna go first. The battery, the gas, you could have one or the other. It stops the job cold, but the Walt has a solution for that. And we're gonna talk about it right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. We got a solution for some of that problem. Most of that, at least 50% of the problem. Okay. In this video here, I was made aware that the wall has a concrete pinner that doesn't require gas. Now this is the deal. If I didn't experience it firsthand, I would have never believed that this tool can do the job that the track fast can do, being a gas operated tool. This thing's unreal, okay? We got this at a contractor grade supply. This runs on the Walt's 20 volt max battery. This is XR brushless. This tool will do between half inch and two and a quarter inch fasteners. Fastener type is the DeWalt cordless concrete nailer fastener pins only. Magazine capacity, 33 fasteners or pins in the magazine, and the tool weighs 9.3 pounds. It's got a three year limited warranty, it's got one year of free service, and it's got a 90 day money back guarantee. Now here's the deal. We'll put a link down in the description for you to use. We're gonna f we'll find you the best price, but you're looking at you know around 800, 900 bucks for the kit. Reality is, a few years ago, or probably a 10 or more years ago, the gas actuated. I spent 12 or 1400 dollars for. So as technology gets better, prices come down. Pretty awesome. Let's get it unboxed. This is, just so you know, it's product number DCN890P2. If I could ever get it open. There we go. Nice hard case. Nice steel latches. This is my Yojimbo 2. Sport Nest 30V steel. Really nice. Made in the USA here in Golden, Colorado. When I say here, in Golden, Colorado. I don't mean here, because we're not in Golden, Colorado. What I mean is it's made here on planet Earth. I was so impressed with this tool at World of Concrete when I saw it for the first time. I, I didn't even realize they had a solution like this. I was so impressed, I said, I got to have me one. I got to have me one. Here's the instruction manual. You're gonna wanna read this fully. It's going to talk about the different fasteners. It's going to talk about how you need to set them. It's going to talk about how to test so that you don't get concrete shatter, splatter, whatever you want to talk about it for your pins to hold. It is also going to talk about the different types of materials, the different pin lengths that you can use this on. These are all the pin sizes available. Two and a quarter, inch and three eighths, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, one inch, three quarter, three quarter, and three quarter. Here's the deal. Some of these fasteners are for concrete, right? Metal to concrete, wood to concrete. Some of them are for metal to metal. Like if you were going to be attaching track to I-beam, these are the type of fasteners. Knurled, S is step, T is tapered, YZ is yellow zinc, and Z is zinc. It comes with the DCB 115 charger. It's not their highest, you know, fast charger, but it's not their lowest bottom of the barrel. I will tell you this much. It comes with two five amp hour batteries, 
Pretty cool. We just happen to have, I feel like a, a baker on the Food Network. We just happen to have a couple of these already out of the oven charged already. Now, I will tell you that this nailer is super impressive. The weight of it is just fantastic. So it doesn't require oil. We pull back this lever. We lower down the magazine. Okay, and then we, we're, we have access here inside the head, right? We clip it back in, lock it back down. We have a, a power switch, right? So one through three. So power one would be for soft, sumptuous style products like cinder block and brick. Two is for medium strength materials like high strength concrete. And then three is for high density materials like structural steel. Inside the instruction manual, you're gonna be able to find kind of a graph and a guideline. You now, all building materials are gonna vary, but you'll find guidelines on what settings to be at, depending on your material that you're using or shooting into, and the length of your pins. That will determine which, what setting you need to be on. You should be able to use any size battery with this, 20, if it's on the 20 volt max line. So you'll see our, our illumination here. So the tool is operating. You'll see we have a fully charged, this is a four amp hour, same thing. And we're able to pop on our flex volt, same thing. It should run with a flex volt. I will tell you that weight wise, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty hefty, 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 hefty with that flex volt battery on there. The reason we have to use DeWalt specific nails, number one, I'm sure that they're engineered specifically for the, the tool and it's mechanized the way it, it, it drives the pins. Number two, your magazine is angled. Okay, so you will not be able to fit other brands of pins into the tool. Okay, we're gonna feed them in. This, this concrete is old, so it's fully cured and it's hard. So we're gonna put our nailer on two. If we see shattering or if, if our pins aren't, aren't holding, okay, we might need to increase the power of the tool or decrease the power of the tool. We're gonna find out right now. I want you to all notice the big difference as well. We're gonna press down. You can hear the fan spool up but there's a big sound difference. Let's see about actuating the tool. You ready? Much, much different. Okay. You almost don't need ear protection. You really don't. Let's try it again. You can see those pins are a little proud. This is very hard concrete. We're gonna set it up. I mean, the pins are definitely holding, but we're gonna set it up and see if we get a little bit more embedment into this, this old hard concrete. Ready? So you'll see, we got a little tilting there, but plenty of embedment. Go again. Let's move on here. Perfect embedment. See that? I'm gonna put more, two more down here. Pretty much zero ramp up. Perfect embedment every time. Think about the difference in the tools, the cost savings, no gas, you do have to by the Walt specific pins, but the reality is, think of the cost savings of not having to buy replacement batteries for a specific tool. If you have a charged 20 volt max tool, then you can go to work. You can pin, you don't need gas.
worked on. I would have been playing with gas, batteries. It's just a matter of reliability, and the wall seems to have it down. I will say we experienced a couple jams. This is extremely hard concrete, so full disclosure. The thing is, is that it's as easy as taking the battery off, removing your pins, or not removing your pins, whatever you want to do. Taking out your magazine, seeing where your jam is, okay, if you have to, you know, release this lever here, push down your, your, your driver, piston, whatever the heck you want to call it, I don't know, it's too technical, it's above my pay grade, okay? Make sure that's all reset, pop your magazine back in, lock yourself back down, load your pins back up, put your batteries on, you're good to go. Is it going to happen? It could happen. Is it easily fixed? Yes, it's easily fixed. And if you like that, smash the like button. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What do you think of the DeWalt pinner? It's not brand new, but it's brand new to me. And when I find things that are brand new to me, I get super excited. I hope you're super excited. Let me know what you think about it. What are you using to set your hat track, your metal track, your bottom plates? What are you using? We want to know. Leave it down below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.